Hi everybody, it's Julie, and happy Monday, and welcome to the Very Messy Desk. I'm going to show you what I have chosen for my kit, and, um, and then I'm going to show you a couple of things that I changed out, also a couple things that I have to still make the decision between two items, and... Um, this is going to be everything but my 14 little things. I'll have that tomorrow for you, um, but I needed to get this video made. So here we go. Um, I'm going to go down the list. So I've chosen my paper pad, and it's this one here. You've seen this before. We've used it. We've used it before. So it has beautiful rose images. Okay, and it does have, um, at the top, it does have the branding strips, so I'll be able to use those, and they are the continuation of the paper up there at the top. Okay, so, and I might end up using that just as part of my page, um, because the configuration of my journal is going to be a little bigger than your nine by six. Okay. So, but there's my pattern pack. It's a color box and I got that. I believe this is from Walmart, um, but it's pretty, I've had it for a while and, um, it doesn't give a date. Sorry about that. Okay. So, um, but that's, it's information. So I can use all of the cover. I can use any of the pieces in here. You guys, this is a lighter weight um, paper pad. You can choose any style of paper pad that you want. Any paper weight, any size um, this time. Okay, so for my stamps, I, I have this stamp set that I picked up at um, Dollar Tree and of course it has my favorite word right there enjoy it has butterflies and the dragonfly and it has a rose so I'm thinking about that one but I do also have this one okay so I'm just I'm just trying to decide this one only has one butterfly it has these two roses I do like that it has these flourishes over here, um, and I don't know where that is. I need to see if I can find that stamp. That might help me with the decision, these two right here. Um, so, so yeah, so one or the other, I'm going to have a stamp set, okay? Um, and, oh, that's part of my 14. So remember, we've got one of my 14. Okay, so we were supposed to be going in order. A Dear Julie Julie digital kit. And what I've decided to use this time is some um, images, some digitals from my Patreon. So this is the welcome page, the welcome digital that you get when you join my Patreon. And so I've printed it on cardstock. And I'm going to be using that. I'm also going to be using this in a craft with me on Friday at 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And that will be for all Patreons. So whatever level of Patreon that you are, you you get this welcome gift. And you'll get, you get to join us on Friday, um, May 5th. 5th? May 7th, <laughs> May 7th at one o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And we will be um, working with this and then also a couple of other um, things that I have given to the Patreons. But I'm going to be using this in my, in my, um, my project this time. This is a quick look at what the Patreons got in April, and I will show you and tell you more about it at the end of this video. 
I am so excited to use these pages in this journal and in the making of this kit. And then this, I know this one is the emeralds background that they got. Okay. And I printed it on the March background that they got. Okay. So the emeralds in March, they got this. The thing is, is you have access to everything that your tier had access to um, as far as the posts. So all of the digitals that they've been, that they've gotten, you have access to those. Okay. This was the Easter. I think this was the, um, the extra for the emeralds. And, um, so that was a special. Okay. So here I've printed them on copy paper. So I have them on copy paper. I have two different two of the background pages printed to use in my in my journal. I think they're going to this is going to work really well with the um, paper pad that I've chosen. You need to use at least 5 digitals. They can be from different kits. You just need to tell us which kits your digitals from the Dear Julie Julie um kits are from and the, don't forget that there is also the free digital kit in the file section of scrap all about it with dear julie julie facebook group and that is while we are home safer at home okay so there you go that's so far i'm probably going to add a couple more um but this you you have to use at least five and you can use more. So this is one of the places that you can get your more stuff for your um, for your projects. Okay, so next you can a binding kit. Okay, so I have my piece of graph paper to make my template, and this one is going to be totally different than um, any template that I have. So I have a new graph paper and then you can use what's left over of your graph paper um, in your journal. Okay, so um, you get four, get to use four clips. I And then you can use, after you've bound your journal, you can use the four clips in your, in your journal. So put these four clips into your kit and um, there you go. You have four clips and they don't have to be part of your 14. Okay. And then needles, as many as you need to use. Okay. <laughs> and I have my string. Okay. So that is, um, uh, my binding kit. Now I did think of one other thing that I want to make sure that we add to our binding kit because this is a kit that you will take with you. And, um, so you also need your pokey tool. If you use an awl, then take your awl. I use this, so that's going to be in mine. And then to, if you are having to take apart your book, or maybe, you know, you, you have to do something, you can have an X-Acto knife or a cutting knife to be able to, um, to take your book apart. And that, I'm gonna count it as part of your binding kit because taking apart the book is part of the binding, right? Okay, so one other part we're gonna to add to your binding is if you use um, whatever it is that you're gonna to use to make your binding stronger, okay? So, you know, I like to use this bandage and um, so this is, and it's, but just enough to be able to, um, to bind your journal. Okay. So, um, you can use that, um, or you can use, uh, oh gosh, I can't, I can't keep, keep thinking of Teflon and that's not the word. You'll know what I'm thinking of, but the, the other stuff that you might use. Okay. So binding kit now includes your cutter or your um, X-Acto knife and your strengthening. If you're using um, book fiber, then that would be it. Okay, 
So um, if you're just using fabric, then your fabric counts as your fabric. Okay, but if your, your reinforcement for your book is part of your binding kit this time. Okay, I'm going to put that back in there. Okay, I'm going to put these in here. Okay, I'm going to put my graph paper with my digital. Okay, so copy paper. So obviously you um, might want some extra writing page. And so we've had a couple questions about the, the, the copy paper. Yes, it can be colored copy paper if that's the way that you bought it. Um, it can be, you know, that, yeah. So it can, it's plain but it can be colored. It can be a, a color. Okay, copy paper. Um, one ink pad, I have my black ink pad. Okay, so that's my one ink pad. Put it somewhere that it doesn't fall over. Um, scissors, co oh, copy, so let's back to, back to the copy paper. So your copy paper is just plain copy paper. It's not your, um, you know, the printed copy paper, the pretty stuff with the um, rainbow on it or whatever. No, this, where it says copy paper, it's copy paper. It can be, you know, it can be the colored copy paper and it can be the bigger pieces too, the 11 by 17. Um, and you can use a variety of colors if you have them. So if you have a cup, you know, you're doing a blue and green and you want to put some green in there and some blue in there, you can do that. Um, back to the digital. You can print your digital on whatever you want to print it on. Okay, so if you want to print your digital on ledger to get some ledger in there, then you can print your digital on ledger or graph paper or um, your scrapbook paper that you know you had this you have your paper pad and you had this one piece of scrapbook paper that you really wanted to use in your journal you can print your digital on that you can print your digital on whatever you want okay that's another free place because you're going to print your digital and then put it in your kit and um, so, yeah, you can print it on whatever you want. Okay, so scissors, I have my um, Resist the Sticky scissors, and I have my Postal scissors, and I will, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put these in there. So, yeah, so scissors cutters I am going to um, to go ahead and not well you know what we're gonna say that I have this one because you know I'll pick it up but this is this is the one that's going to be in my kit and I'm using this one because it is going to be big enough for uh, the book that I'm using but it's also um, it has a score scoreboard on it as well okay so that is my cutter. Um, glue, I will be putting in my kit, my fabric tech, my aqua, Tombow Aqua Mini, blah, 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 this one, Tombow Mono Liquid Glue Aqua, and a glue stick. Okay, so I will have all those choices in mine. Um, Okay, ruler. I can't find my metal ruler. When I find it, I, I would re rather have my metal ruler or um, <laughs> or I would rather have one of my metal rulers. So um, yeah, so that's when I, if I find those. Otherwise, this one's going in there. Because I like the fact that I can roll and do lines. Um, and let's see. Hole punch. I'm going to be using, I will have my crocodile. Um, I will be using my cell machine and thread. 
and so that's that. Um, my extra two tools. I'm picking my stapler, tiny attacher, and my right now I'm picking the um, the pocket punch board. So the pocket punch board is what I'm picking, and um, yeah. So that is that is the tools I've chosen. I need to pick my 14 items. I have not done that yet. So wish me luck on that. We'll, you'll see those tomorrow. I just, like I said, I just had to get this, this video um, up. And I'm, I'm very undecisive on my 14. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and show you kind of in some type of order here. So here's my book that I've chosen. Okay, so this is my book. It was 49 cents at the Goodwill and it is a journal. Okay. And it is sewn in. So I am going to be able to take this apart and undo the pages and have side by side really yummy looking pages okay so and i like the book is in good shape um the book cover and um it goes along with my theme and so i think it's going to be really a fun one to use so that is my book um and like i said i'm excited because i'm going to be getting good paper out of it this is a good paper Looks like I've already used the other one of those, but, but I'll have that also that I'll be able to use. Okay, um, my second book, I had already taken this apart, and I got this at the Goodwill in 2019 for 99 cents. This one I got in two, 2018. <laughs> okay, so... Um, so this was a look at this this these are the pages that were in there double-sided the colors are amazing and there's roses now i i'm probably you know me i'm going to do something with those pages that have the words probably not going to use the words but that is that is that okay so my next item I'm adding in is the green masking paper. This is going to give me some noisy paper. It's also big enough that I can have some pages that um, actually fit because this is bigger when these pages fold out, they're bigger than 12 inches. They're like 13 or, or maybe even 14 inches. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the green paper. Um, you need fabric, some type of fabric this time because a couple of your elements require fabric. And I have chosen this shirt that um, it just drives me crazy when I wear it. It um, catches on everything. And so, but uh, it's really, it's got all these little beads on it. And, and I thought that the back, look at this ruffly edge down at the bottom. And the ruffly edge is also on the sleeve. So you'll probably see me cut this and sew this onto something so that I can put this on the edge of the journal. Um, but I think it's going to be a great um, fun piece for this, for what I've chosen. The items that I've chosen okay so there's that um, and then I have this and it is a Valance for a curtain and I had this up and um, in my in my house it's vintage okay because I know I had this up um, in the in the 80s I think Oh, maybe 90s. Might not be vintage. <laughs> oh, or antique. 
might not. <laughs> anyway, um, I love the little cameos of the little hearts down here. I think that's going to make a fun pocket. Um, and then I have, it's, it's, how long is it? One, two, two and a little bit. Okay. Long. And it has the eyelet. I just, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to work with this. Looking to see if there's a date. Do not bleach it. It's polyester, 65% and 35% cotton. Um, anyway, so that is one of the things that I have for this. I think it's going to be fun. It's, I, it just gives a lot of potential. Um, more things that I can do um, for for this this journal. Okay, so next I've chosen this lace here. Now I went with this one. You can see it's on here. I don't know if I've ever shown you. This is how I package my lace. This is a, I think it's cereal box, this particular one, um, doubled over so that it's stronger. And then I just wrap my lace on there. You guys, I when, when I did this, I was able to put three drawers full of lace into one drawer and I can actually find it. So um, yeah, so that's my, my lace. And I've chosen this one and I'll show you um, so watch coming up in future videos. As you can see, one of the papers I've chosen, it doesn't fit. You know, it's not together. Oh, there's that's the cover. I don't know where the back is, but I have the cover from that. Okay. So um, these are obviously, it's smaller. And I'll probably end up, you know, putting them together somehow or adding these onto other papers. But I was like, oh, you know, I like to I like to put lace on the inside pages and then have the lace come out the edge. And so I think that that's going to be be really nice. So I did want to show you some of the the why's <laughs> why I pick things. Now these I can put these in for flip-flops cuz we do have you know, there's some that have the yellow that can be, um, you know, can still be considered a good color for uh, journaling, journaling on. Let's, let's. Okay, so that is. There's my lace. Now remember, one of the ones I, one of the things I have for this also is the stamp set. So we'll just pull the little stamp set out, just so I don't, <laughs> so I don't forget that when we're counting at the end. So originally I had chosen the Dollar Tree lace. I love this because I can also make it, you know, cut it down and and make it into two sizes. But then I was looking, I was like, I need more texture for um, things in this. And I decided on this one from the Dollar Tree. It's also nine feet. So they're both the same amount. But with this one, I'm going to get burlap. And I'm going to be able to, um, you know, like I said, when you're picking out your items, your 14 items, you want to pick out things that you can do get as much value out of as you can so these are sewn on and it does take a little bit to get them off but then you can go ahead and you can cut down the center of this and you've got two pieces of lace at nine feet and you have nine feet of the burlap and you also have wire in here okay so uh very 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 versatile 
shape right here. And if you, um, you know, if you're using colored ink, you can use your ink or your coffee and dye this. Um, if you've if you've added coffee into your items, okay. So that that is the one I chose, and I chose not to use the um, Dollar Tree one. So I'm going to put that over here in my lace drawer, okay. Um, I Folgers Instant Coffee. I have a container of it. I can't find it, so I just grabbed this out of the cupboard. Um, but I will be using. Um, coffee to dye. Um, we're going to do some some fun coffee dyeing techniques. I'm going to do that for the back of my scrapbook paper and possibly some of the other things in here. Um, so I did pick coffee um, as one of my items. The other thing I chose was a stencil because adding stenciling um, I love it for because it's flat. It doesn't add any bulk. So there's that. And I need to try my inks real quick. I haven't done that yet, but just know there will be two inks, probably a green and one of the, the pinks. Okay. Um, I, but I need to check them and find the perfect color to go with this. Again, I needed to get this video made and... So there you go. I don't know where these things are coming from. Okay, and I also added bling as one of my items. I, you know, I love the bling. I love the bling. So I did put that in. And the other thing is um, I didn't have, oh, I do have a package. Well, there you go. Cosmetic wedges. Okay, so... Um, Figuring that I was going to need a way of adding this, and I can also use this to distress um, my pages. Because there's black and that one set of, um, the one book, the Rebel book, this one, the, the items that came out, they kind of look kind of grungy. I can actually maybe even use my um, black ink as some of my um my distressing so the one other thing that i wanted to add was was um the eyeshadows but that's not going to happen so um it's a possibility for a mini challenge in the challenge um so we'll see we'll see okay so let's count because i um man i put had things put them away had things put them away and this is what we're down to and i hope it's i hope it's 14. so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and our stamps are going to either be this one or that one and that's 14 so this is my 14 items so what i would do is i'm going to get myself a larger container um, to put these items in and um so that and then i'm going to clean up all this area <laughs> i know you're shocked i'm shocked and um, I am going to be able to just create. So um, I am really excited about, about this. Um, this challenge. I think that this is going to be a lot of fun. Now remember, I have to make a graduation book sometime Um because my granddaughter is graduating on the 27th. So um, it may be that I have to stop doing this, scoot on over and do that real quick and then come back to this. Um, if there is a um, element in the items that are in the details video that's that you need to make for this that you're not sure what it is, um, 
please put it in the comments down below. You'll need, you'll, if you're at the premiere, come back and put it in the comments of the video so that I can um, do those first. Okay, so those are my 14 items plus the items that I've chosen that are the what we call the free items. Remember, the free items are your paper pad, any size. Your paper can be any weight. Um, your Dear Julie Julie digital kit, and you can mix your digital kits. You need to use at least five pages, and that can be um, embellishment pages or um, pages, because I do regular pages in my kits, or a combination of either. Your binding kit, excuse me, which includes your thread, your needles, the four clips, your graph paper, so one piece of graph paper for your template. Then remember, you also get your pokey tool and the cutter to be able to cut your um, book. Okay, I didn't want you to have to use your cutter to cut your book as one of your two extra tools that you're choosing. Okay, you get to use one ink pad, any scissors, but remember, you're picking them out and you're putting them in your kit. Pretend like you're you're going away on a retreat, okay? You get to go to the Dear Julie Julie <laughs> Junk Journal Retreat. And this is what all you can take with you, okay? Um, so, let's see. Then you're going to choose your other two tools. I chose that punch board and my stapler. Now, if you choose a stapler, yes, you get staples. So take staples with you. Okay, so you get to take whatever you need. Like you have your sewing machine and your thread. Okay. Um, okay. So the next thing, I've got to pick my 14 embellishments. But I'll do that and have those for you tomorrow. Okay, so we have this. And... This wasn't that a great choice. I think that's going to be awesome with the green and all those colors and this shirt. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun to work with this. And then I was going to use the Morning Roses digital kit, but this was the kit that I made, or the, like I said, this is what I made for the Patreons, and I, it's perfect. So I'm going to use it because, yes, you can use the digital kits that you've earned when you've finished a um, a journal and you've done your your VIP you can you can use your VIP kits you can use the free digital kit in the Dear Julie Julie scrap all about it or, or the scrap all about it with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group so that's my kit I hope you enjoyed this share I cannot wait to go make something but be you know like a good little crafter, I'm going to clean up this desk, feed those animals, and then I can start playing. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Don't forget there's also a place for you to put your questions in the group for the May challenge. And I will put the um, video for the, with the details to the May challenge in the description box down below. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Here's a look at what the Patreons got for their one sheet. Um, so all uh, Sapphire got this is their one sheet download that they get. Roses and Butterflies. It's, it's considered an eclectic, so it can be anything. And kind of cool. It's got a dictionary here with the butterfly um, definition, some postcards, and the little card here. So next we have our rubies, and they get a holiday. And this year, or this month, their holiday is Earth Day. And so, and I kind of went with the butterfly theme all through this. And as my emeralds know, with their ephemera pack, the magic 
amazing ephemera pack they got was butterflies as well. So this is the Ruby um, Holiday Earth Day. Okay, and next we have Diamond and they have a theme. And so they had Butterfly. And that's their theme was Butterfly. And so they've got the milkweed down here and just some other cool images. And then the emeralds get a background. And so this is their background this time. And they also got a bonus of the mini ephemera of all four. So um, the thing that happens is if you're an emerald, you have access to all of these. Okay, if you're a diamond, you have access to these. If you're a ruby, you have access to these. If you're a sapphire, you have access to these. I have also, um, as an opal, you receive, occasionally you'll get a one sheet. Um, and we did Easter one sheets for the for all the patreons so if you're interested in information about patreon i'll put the um, information video in the description box down below and as well as the link to my patreon so um, but this is what they got for their um their april one sheet and it's a digital upload that they can use and then they have access to all kinds of other things. The tiers are explained in that video in the description box. And I want to thank my Patreons for being so amazing and for being, being there and helping me guide our, our channel and where we are going and some of the things that we're doing. Um, just by their comments and the answers to the questions that I put out there. So it's a, a little community. It's a great little community. And I really, really appreciate them.